So today we're talking about what I think is the most important principle when it comes to finding the freedom that we're looking for. And that is helping others along the way. You know, I have said for years that the problem with pain is not simply that it's painful. The problem with pain is it makes me pretty inwardly focused. Well, let's be honest, it kind of makes me a narcissist. Uh, I've been married now for 38 years to the best woman on the planet. And she would tell you, if she was sitting here today, that I have done my best through the years to make sure and serve her the way God has called me to serve her. But the fact of the matter is, when I am in pain, like today I have a backache, if my back hurts, I don't, I'm not really looking to meet her needs. I'm really just wanting my back to stop hurting. And through the years in my life and the life of so many, I have watched people get afflicted with the as soon as disease. This says, as soon as I am doing better, as soon as God or somebody else takes care of me, I'm going to begin uh, to really be a help to other people. When we forget this important biblical principle that says, it is in giving that we receive. That our healing begins when we find ourselves, even in the middle of the mess, saying to others, how can I help you along the way? The fact of the matter is, this side of heaven, we're never going to be problem free. And yet the healing that we're looking for from God comes from when the healing from God flows through us into the life of someone else. And I want to tell you, <coughs> excuse me, quite honestly, I'll say to you, that uh, it is a much more powerful testimony to help someone as you are needing help than it is as being one who has already finished the journey and you want to show someone the way. Showing someone the way in the middle of your struggle, in the middle of your battle, I believe, is key to your healing. I love the Apostle Paul who said, Hey, we're hard pressed on every side, but we're not crushed. We're persecuted, but we're not abandoned. We're struck down and we're not destroyed. And he says, all that we're doing for you, in spite of how we're feeling at the moment, we're feeling God's power at work in our lives. And so if you want to really experience God's power to the fullness in your life along the way, while you're still struggling, while it's still a battle for you, the most powerful thing you can do is fight the urge to fulfill this fleshly human desire to be taken care of and get your focus on someone else. I promise you, you'll be glad that you did.